there's been two weekends obviously now of going out testing since we've made changes to the van um, and this weekend we're just coming back from Camp Turkey from uh, Camp Van Tails weekend is the weekend where we'd made some changes after going to um, the Camp Circle the Betty Boondockers weekend yeah we've gone through everything now there's still a few things I think I would change but ultimately uh, wheels and tyres brilliant wheels and tyres um, really kind of uh, stable on the road very quiet when you're driving down the road and everything like that they take out all the little lumps and bumps we're going down some bumpy roads before yeah. and, and you, it's just really flattening them all out really, really good. good for that um, yes they didn't help at all in, in, <laughs> in century circle yeah in mud that's sort of like absolutely kind of like five six inches deep yeah didn't help with that at all <clears throat> but we didn't get stuck stuck there we just couldn't go back up a hill so that's kind of where we were with that one yeah they're brilliant um, the blinds these blinds here are absolutely fantastic yes. so much so i'm thinking that we take this one out take the curtain out yeah because they the thermal properties of these are really good uh, they're easy to close and everything at night and so, we get yeah. the cab space back so yeah. it's so nice because as soon as we pop the curtain down we kind of lose the seats for storage because you know just treat your clothes on when you get ready at night and and just leaving things messily laying around on yeah. but it's much needed because it keeps the rest of the van um easier to use and doesn't get in the way of stuff then and uh, and it's nice to have that back um but yeah so they're really good cupboard. i find them done oh the cupboard the cupboard's my favorite bit the all my stuff in there it's dead easy to get in and out of um i'm not even using all the little storage bits and bats that i've got in there and um we do fetch an awful lot of food with us when we come for the weekend and um, it's nice to have everything have its own place in there um, and we've even got room in the shelves we've got spare bedding and all sorts of things in there which we never had the room for before uh, so no I love my little cupboard and this weekend when we went to camp circle again we um, I took a prototype kind of like a rough version of the duckboard flooring for the loop to raise the floor up so it became more comfortable um, so this weekend is obviously the finished version of that. I've stained it, I've sealed it and everything else. So the loo now, without that stupid shower on your side, is great, now comfortable. Oh yeah, yeah. And with the duckboard flooring, so much more comfortable on the loo and doing all that. And obviously you've got the extractor fan in there as well. So getting rid of all the smells, all that's um, really good. It just keeps yeah. the air fresh in there because it gets a bit stale as well, doesn't it? So it just keeps the, the air circulating nice and fresh. It is, you know, it's good. Um, taking the table away and, and having it stored up top for me yeah. we didn't actually use it because John's put another leg on it uh, yeah, so, we so can... the, the conversion I did last time to put a folding leg on there uh, if you remember I said I'd done it temporary because I was going to make a proper go of it another time so I've done that now I've just not included it in anything yet because we haven't used it no um, but I've got two folding legs on there now um, that are the right height for everything else so you can actually have it inside or outside as a standalone table um, and it also still works on the rail at the side so. yeah but we take it out and, and we've got it up in the cab above us because uh, cooper likes to not have a table over his head doesn't he so uh, yeah and the ability to walk in and having that extra space there because that's the only space unfortunately we've got when we walk in yeah is the cab area and right behind so, so to tower that, cooper down and what have you at least yeah, we've got the extra room for it it's better so it's really really helping now having the cab blinds so we can have the extra space here and having the table out of the way so the extra space there is really working well so the raised bed far more comfortable having a standard <laughs> double bed sized area with a great mattress and quilt covers and all that it's just so much easier yeah. and more comfortable so dead happy we did that one and cooper's found out that he can actually jump up there yeah so uh, it's getting down is a different matter it's funny yeah. watching him but no he can get up there as well which is good so that's where well and the storage underneath it is great i just need to be better at um or finding any way of how to store things more neatly under there or to get quicker access for putting them away getting out so they because at the moment I'm putting the most boxes or I'm putting them in a, a backpack and that and it's just not perfect. So. Turn left onto A623. So yeah, a bit of tweaking on how we store things under there and that'll be sorted, but having all that extra space under there is just brilliant. And we have got them to the point where we've got, we, we kind of need a place for everything and everything in its place, which is the old Vanners thing, isn't it? Yeah. Everything has to go somewhere, but because we've 
recently moved lots of things around we've still not quite got back to everything having its own little place hands and hats i leave all over the show apparently <laughs> yeah so he's going to work on that one yeah. for next time we need more little um, well matt's the only thing that mandy's not done yet is made those pockets we spoke about yeah. to put around and once we've got those pockets everywhere it'll be easy just to drop things in temporarily like you go in your van you don't need this so you can have a walk just to drop something in a little pocket or a cupboard and then later you can have a tidy up because they think there's two tidies in a van there's the I'm traveling tidy I don't want it to be rolling around yeah and then there's somewhere just to put it out of the way while you go out walking or go to the pub or something like that yeah but uh, but not on the bed because uh, um, we have these lovely plans for going for afternoon naps and I went to go for an afternoon nap yesterday and uh, the bed was full of GoPros and charging cables laptops, and laptops yeah, and everything so I just drank more beer instead <laughs> which which was an acceptable uh, solution, solution it, yeah. definitely yeah uh, um, and yeah. the other one we've made a change for this weekend um, is the heating duct out the back. So I had that awful little problem that you know I'd sent the wrong parts for Camp Circle and everything, um, and I changed that now. So now all the heating ducts are all clipped out of the way, all done in the right place and everything like that. And um, with a little adjustment I made on Friday night, I'm oh, sorry, Saturday morning. Mandy's now saying it that heat goes her over over the, the back doors of the van yeah. and has a little bit um, of heat that comes through the back of the bed so she's nice and warm that way it's not getting a cold from, from the wind from the window there's just like a little yeah. bit of cold that eeks in through there and that changes has stopped that so I don't get a cold bottom so that's worked out really well too so um, those are the changes really the major ones lighting wise um, Fair yeah, lights. yeah really happy with the lights um, I would say of all the electrical changes the only thing that I didn't do that I probably will be doing over the next few weeks is rerouting where the outlet is for the inverter so the inverter is under the back so it's, there's no chance you're ever going to plug anything in directly to the inverter so I'm going to cable up uh, to another outlet that's somewhere far more easily accessible yeah it does need it and, um, and also put some USB sockets there as well or what I might do is put a 12 volt socket so you can have USB outlets or 12 volt because some of our chargers are just 12 volts so yeah. do that and I'm probably going to put that near the kitchen area so that's probably the last change but everything else really happy with it yep it's been wonderful yep. it's been so much better just to have everything with us and I mean this weekend is one of the first weekends when we've used a lot of things yeah I mean well, you know the, stuff the well. food you know we, we yeah. normally bring food and eating pubs and yeah. then take it back with us but this weekend we've um, we've eaten food that we brought with us which is amazing but we've used the, the chairs and we had the campfire out for its first uh, its first trip out and um, yeah we've, so we've, and the barbecue gear and all that kind of yeah. stuff the fire gear so we, we have used a lot of the stuff and it's been so nice to have room for it and much more if we needed to, to do it again so so again so. Um, a lot of things that you're going to see in this series um, I haven't really linked as I went on um, and I said to people I'm going to do a final one so what um, we've got a website now and it's um, gjot.uk so gadgetjohnontour.uk so on the website there's going to be one page which is all about these camper van changes the videos are all going to be linked in there and then there's going to be a list of all the things we've done um, and I'm going to list um, all the parts so for example people have asked about the wheels and tyres they're going to be on there people have asked about the LED lights that are put at the back for the reversing camera they're on there the campfire the thing we've been yeah the campfire yeah. people have been asking about that um, things like the front uh, fog lamps the DRL uh, LED fog lamps they're on there um, and all the usual bits you know my wiring stuff I'll relink to those videos but it's the same sort of stuff so you can uh, find out whatever you've been looking at and thinking oh yeah I'd like to do that you can see it on our website um, and all our other stuff's on the website too so we can uh, go look at all our old videos and find out a bit more Mandy's going to start doing uh, more in-depth information for you people that like to read I like reading you see and John likes recording yeah. so a bit of both and I like writing so well Mandy's going to give you a proper kind of st a written story of each video's events like when we go away camping um, so you can decide then if you're going to watch the video or read Mandy's story yep or both or both up to you so another little thing as well is on the when I made the bifoldy door from the uh, original two twin doors I put magnets around um, 
the magnets weren't strong enough, the doors kept flying open on the way, driving around everywhere. So um, I've changed those for the stronger magnets um, that we used on the last camper van, um, which you would only get from Screwfix. Mandy picked them up from Screwfix. Yeah. Uh, the other ones, the supposedly heavy duty ones I ordered online um, from eBay or something like that. Um, yeah, total rubbish. So we've done a mix of them and since we've done that, we've had a weekend of going up and down Dale and everything, literally yeah. up and down Dale. Yeah, yeah. Um, and um, yeah, the new magnet's perfect, no yep. problem. Not too strong, so you can't, that's why we've got a mix of them, So because yeah. we, we wanted to be able to open the thing. Um, but no, I can't fault those magnets. They're like £3.33 each or something yeah. like that from Screwfix, but they are well oh. worth it, yeah. really good. So yeah, in six months time, we're probably gonna do a series of changes again. If the bed and storage, we're happy with it, uh, we're probably gonna rip it all out, <laughs> take out all the auto fail stuff, reroute everything, so it's more efficient use of space, um, rebuild the bed a bit better, um, access to the rear lights a bit better, that kind of stuff. Maybe drop it an inch or something if I can with the storage. Um, but yeah, just to do it properly so it makes better use of all that space. And I know it's all been done right, that's gonna be a big thing for me. Um, so yeah, maybe, like say, later on in autumn time or so, I might wait till winter um, and get that job done then. Yeah, because we like doing camper vans in winter. We like doing camp. Yeah, but it's just that you want to use it when you use it, and winter's the time when you use it the least. So. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. So I hope you've enjoyed the series of changes. If you've got any questions or anything like that, uh, you know, feel free to ask in the comments section down below. Um, please do use the comments section. Don't send me an email or anything like that. Um, emails are just for business, so I don't check them very often. If you're not a subscriber, if you're finding you can't make a comment because you haven't got a Google account, well, just open a Google account. Because then not only can you give it a thumbs up and comment, you get to know when we've made a video, you get a subscription thing, and it's part of a community. So you're, a helping, yeah, you're helping the community. Everyone we saw today, we've all got accounts, we've all got make videos, you watch them. So join the community, become part of it. That's what we all like. And eventually come camping with us. Yeah. So create yourselves an account, join the community, and um, leave your comments in the description down below. And uh, sorry, leave your comments in the comments section down below. And um, I can uh, give you a proper reply and everything then. So thank you for watching, and um, we'll catch you on the next video. See you soon. Bye. bye.